We're working in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 3. We're going to be doing the formatting characters exercise. I already have it open so we can get started right away. You're going to notice this is one of those activities that will open Word without a document available. So the first step says to open the staff agenda document from the resource files folder and save it as the staff agenda effects to my projects. So the easiest way to open up a document in Jasper Active is just to go to the bottom of the instruction panel and find it there. And you can double click. That should open up the document for you. And you can double check up here in your title area to see that you have the correct document open. So this one says staff agenda, staff agenda, excellent. Now we need to save it as staff agenda effects to the my projects folder. So I'm going to go to save, or I'm sorry, file, save as, and then to browse. <clears throat> to browse, I'm going to go to this PC, Windows C, and find my Jasper Active folder. Now yours might be in a different spot, so pay attention to that, but really you're looking for where that Jasper Active folder is. Go into your name folder, and then because I'm saving, I'm going into my projects. And I'm going to save this as staff agenda effects. Now, since I've already tried this one, it's showing it already. That's okay. It's just going to ask me if I want to replace it. I do. All right. The next thing we're going to do is select the first two lines, which are agenda and staff retreat. So I'm just clicking and dragging my mouse over those top two lines. On the home tab in the font group, click on bold. So home tab, font group, there's my bold icon. Now you could do control B to bold your text, but Jasper Active is always trying to show you the multiple ways that you can do different things. So one of the most important things is just to do it exactly as Jasper says, otherwise it might not mark it as correct. <clears throat> but I've got those bolded. The next thing we're gonna do with the text still selected, on the home tab in the font group, click the arrow for font size and then click 18. So I'm still on the home tab. I'm gonna be in the font group here. There's my text size. So I'm gonna click that drop down arrow next to it. And I'm gonna go down to 18 and click on that. I'm gonna mark that as answered and go to step number two. For step two, to, we're going to format and highlight text. Ensure the text is still selected from agenda to staff retreat. And then on the home tab in the font group, click the arrow for font color to display the palette of colors and click the blue color. So one thing I want to point out is that we sometimes forget that we're actually working in two separate programs. So even though my um, words are still selected. If I click into my instruction panel, it looks like they're not. So when you click back, they should still be selected. If they're not, just reselect them by clicking and dragging over them. All right, so we're going to go up. We're still working on the home tab and in the font group. We're going to click on the drop down next to the font color icon. And this is going to show our whole palette of colors. So when you hover over these colors, it tells you exactly what color they are. So sometimes Jasper Active is going to ask you for a really specific color, like aqua, accent 5, lighter 80%. And those are ones that you'll find up here. <clears throat> but sometimes it will ask you for a color like blue. That's going to be down here in the standard colors. But you're going to notice that we have two different blues here. So make sure you hover your mouse over to see what the title of that color is. For example, this one is light blue. So if I selected that, even though to me it's blue, it's not the color Jasper Active is looking for. So I want to make sure I select the one that is labeled as blue. The next thing we're going to do is select the line of text that says Pacific Plaza Hotel Renaissance Conference Room. So that's just down a little bit. I'm going to click and drag over that. On the home tab in the font group, 
click the text highlight color and select the color yellow. So again, we're still in the home tab in our font group. Now you're gonna see that when I look at this icon, the yellow is already selected, but because Jasper Active wants me to click um, down to select it, I'm gonna do that just to be sure. And you can see what other colors are here. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on that yellow. The next thing it wants me to do is select the line of text that says nine o'clock President's Welcome. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. It's underneath where it says December 7th. Click and drag over 9 o'clock President's Welcome. And it wants me to make this line bold, change the text color to blue, and add a yellow highlight color. So to do that, up here in my font group, I can easily click on the bold. Over in the color, because the blue is already selected, I can just click on that icon. I don't have to go back and select the right color. And then the same goes for my highlight because it's already selected and it's not asking me to click on the drop down. I can just click right on there. So now you're going to see that I've changed the color of the text and I've highlighted it. It does make it a little more difficult to read. So this is one of the things that this lesson is trying to show us is that when we change our text in certain ways, it can affect the readability of it. But that's all I need to do for step two. So I'm gonna click Mark as answered and go on to step three. For step three, we're gonna clear the formatting. So reselect the nine o'clock president's welcome text and then on the home tab in the font group, click clear all formatting. So in here, I'm gonna click and drag over nine o'clock president's welcome. I'm on my home tab in the font group. The clear formatting button looks like an A with a little eraser next to it. So I'm gonna click on that. What you're gonna see is that it, it changed my um, font color back to black. It took the bold off, but it did not change the highlight. So highlight is one of the exceptions when you use the clear formatting button. It won't take that off. So you have to manually go up and remove that. So step two in here says click the arrow for text highlight color and then click no color. No colors down at the bottom. And if I select that, it will take it off. And you're also gonna notice that now your highlighter has that no color option selected. I'm gonna to go to mark as answered and go to step four. For step four, we're gonna change the font. So I'm gonna to return to the top of the page and select the two title lines, which are agenda and staff retreat. And then I'm gonna click the arrow for font and choose Verdana. So up here, home tab, font group, there's my font styles. I'm going to click the drop down. Now, Verdana starts with a V, so I know I can just grab my slider here and I can slide it all the way down to the V's. And there's Verdana. Mark that as answered and go to step five, which is apply text effects. So ensure that the text is still selected. So agenda and staff retreat on the home tab. In the font group, click the text effects and typography icon. All right, so I'm clicking back here. My two lines of text are still selected. Home tab, font group, there's my text effects and typography. Now it's going to show me a whole lot of options here. So it opens up kind of like a gallery. And then there are ways down below that you could actually edit it yourself. But what it wants me to find is gradient fill, aqua, accent color five, reflection option. All right, so and it tells you in here, it's the second row, second option. But if I didn't tell me and I was looking for something specific, all I need to do is hover over these and it tells me exactly what they are. So second row, second option, there it is. It says gradient fill, aqua, accent color five, reflection. I'm gonna select that. That's what it looks like, and I'm gonna save my document. So just up here in my quick access toolbar, I'm gonna to click save. I'm gonna mark this one as answered and submit. And that's it.